I was not invited to the early access Black Ops 4 event. But I did want to share my opinions on the gameplay and footage I have seen. First off, I hate to be the one to tell you this guys, but... Ah, just kidding, there are no jetpacks or advanced movement in Black Ops 4. Well, I guess one feature can be classified as advanced movement, and that is one of the specialists has like a grappling hook kind of thing, but it's an ability, so it can't be used like 24 seven. And just like the past, these abilities have cooldowns. So from now on, modes are going to have five plays aside rather than six. I really don't like this idea. I feel like it's gonna slow down the pace of the game so much. Even with six aside, you get into those matches where you don't even reach the score limit because too many people camp nowadays. Specialists are also returning. I absolutely hate specialists. Nothing is more frustrating to me than dying on a streak by a guy that has an OP weapon or ability active, not because they earned it though, but just because a timer has passed and now they have the ability to use it. It just totally frustrates the hell out of me. But hey, anything is better than the current system we have, which is the division system, right? Also, they are making it so each team can only have one of each specialist. Before a match, players are going to have to choose a specialist from a list. Once the specialist is chosen by a team member, no other player on your team can choose the same specialist. I am a huge fan of this. It helps balance teams in the game on a whole. No more will you face a whole enemy team full of people using rejack or war machine or battery. There is only going to be one of each specialist per team. I am so hyped for this. For some reason, they totally removed the health regeneration mechanic. The only way you can regenerate health now is to manually use a medkit. The medkits do have a cooldown and regenerate your health 100%. This is a very weird and unexpected change. The health regeneration mechanic has been included in multiplayer since day one. So why would they remove it? I have no idea. This is such a very unnecessary change in my opinion. It's very unwanted. And this is going to put a lot of people off the multiplayer mode. I know I was freaked out when I saw it. The base health in Black Ops 4 is also going to increase from 100 to 150. The only reason I can see them doing this is the more health the players have, the more variation in weapon stats you can have, because a higher number is just easier to balance. Overall, I'm really skeptical of Black Ops 4. It's hard to make up your mind about extensively playing the game. They made a lot of changes, some of them seem like they were made out of desperation for success. Instead of making a regular Call of Duty game, which obviously is going to appeal to the Call of Duty community, they are aiming towards competing with other flourishing communities such as Overwatch and Counter-Strike. Just remember guys, don't make up your mind on something you have yet to personally experience. Due to the big drastic changes in Black Ops 4, I would not recommend just going out due to the hype and just buying this game, okay? Put $5 down, wait for the beta, try it out in the beta. If you like it, buy the game. If you don't like it, get your deposit back and then just go play something else. This is not going to be your traditional Call of Duty, guys. There is a lot more changes to Black Ops 4 than I made reference to in this video. But to be honest with you guys, and be 100% frank, I did not really understand them that well. And I did not want to give you guys false information. So on that note, guys, this is going to be it for my multiplayer, I guess, review in some sense i guess so let me know what you guys thought of the black ops 4 reveal event in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed the video please remember to leave a like subscribe and turn on those post notifications i'm out guys have a good night peace out